Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Yamisi, and today's video is going to be an ingredient prep video. This video is very important because it will help you save time in the kitchen, it reduces the stress of cooking, helps you save money, and then you have more flexible options for meals. So this is not a meal prep video, this is not a menu prep video, it is an ingredient prep video. If you're interested, keep watching, don't forget to click the like button, it's very important, let me know that you like more of this kind of videos and don't forget to subscribe so that you join the family, there are recipes every week and new videos every week. What makes this process easier and go faster and makes it much more fun is if you're listening to your favorite songs or a podcast or watching a movie or watching a CCME video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Binge watch some of my old videos and it makes time pass very, very fast while we ingredient prep. You need to also sort your containers. I've been using more of glass food containers lately instead of the plastic ones and that's for many reasons. First of all, it just looks really, really good. <laughs> and then second of all, um, sometimes with the plastic, they get stained and sometimes the odor transfers, but with the glass, it doesn't and it just really looks nice and organized. I will also be using Ziploc bags. I usually buy them in different sizes and they help me to just store my food properly and because they seal so tightly, it helps protect or preserve the food for a longer time. I'll start by prepping the ingredient that takes longer to prepare for me, which will be the tomatoes. I use tomatoes a lot in most of my recipes. I use it for pottage, jollof, stew, eggs, anything we're cooking, you can best believe that tomatoes will be in there somehow. So I just cut them into bits, cut some pepper, cut some onion, put them in a pot and I allow it boil down. This is a fast way for me to just make my tomato sauce. So that's what we're making. That's one ingredient done. Another ingredient that takes long to prepare is your meat. So you have to determine what you're cooking that week. For this week, I feel like we're going to have chicken, mostly chicken. So I bought a lot of chicken, seasoned with salt, with stock cubes and some basic ingredients so i don't use like curry but i use thyme and that's to make sure that this meat is flexible for any recipe i want to use it for i don't want to have a goosey soup with curry inside do you get so i just use like the basic seasonings pepper thyme salt and uh, onions and chicken stock and that's what we're seasoning our chicken with and as you can see it is cooked and i'm just going to separate it from the stock so now we're going to have stock which is one ingredient and we're going to have boiled chicken which is another ingredient i can choose to fry the chicken or just leave it like that Another ingredient I like to prep is the extra meats, let's say for more things like uh, stockfish, if I'm using any, I just wash them, cook them, boil them and then cut them into little bits and put in my Ziploc bags so that I can use it anytime. I am such a lover of pepper and you know what I did not used to ingredient pepper in the past I would just buy pepper when I need it but right now I buy pepper in bulk so I buy the red pepper and the yellow pepper because they have different flavors and I buy the green pepper as well all of them have different flavors I put them in the processor blend it and it looks like it has been chopped finely I put them in my containers let me tell you this thing transforms my meal i don't know what kind of pepper this is called it's red pepper and i usually buy it from Shoprite, but it has a different fragrance than the normal pepper you buy in markets and then we have this yellow pepper which i always call cameroon pepper but it gives a different flavor and i use it more for soups ingredient prepping saves me so much time because when i want to make let's say eggs all i have to do is just bring my bowl of pepper a spoon here put some onion mix everything and food is ready so it saves me so much time now this is the tomatoes that we were boiling i'm just using my hand blender to blend everything 
if you have a lot of tomatoes this is the right way to blend it or this is a very good helpful stressful way to do it and also it makes the texture of the tomato paste very smooth because all the seeds are boiled and everything is soft and I don't add any water to it while I'm boiling it so this is pure tomato paste now i'm just putting everything in a bowl and let me tell you just these two big bowls of tomato sauce will help me with jello fries helps me with egg if i need tomatoes for pottage if i need it for anything i use tomatoes for beans these peppers as well they work for every meal and this is what has simplified my cooking i couldn't wait to share this with you guys because i didn't used to do ingredient prep before i just do bulk cooking and meal prep but ingredient prep for me gives me a lot of flexible options for meals and i love it another ingredient i prep is my mixed veg see i buy my green beans carrots peas sweet corn and i make my own mixed veg at home there's a process to doing it so it's not just cutting it and putting it in a bag i'll do a separate video to show you how i preserve my mixed veg for months and months and this saves you time it saves you money if you go and buy mixed veg in the supermarket you guys know how much it will cost and also you don't know the kind of preserving that have been used but this is homemade mixed veg and when I do this see I have meal options that are endless I use it for pasta I use it for fried rice we use it for eggs if you want to have noodles you can just use your mixed veg whenever without having to prepare when you are trying to cook the food and that is what saves you so much time this whole ingredient prep process did not take me more than four hours but it made the whole process of cooking for the rest of the week it made it so so easy this video was actually inspired by my husband and my nanny we went out during the week and when we came back everybody was so hungry you guys i made a goosey soup in less than 25 minutes my husband was like wait did you have this goosey soup at home or like what happened and i'm like we already have the meats boiled we have the vegetables sorted all we have to do is mix and match and put everything on the cooker and that is how fast meals were for us last week i love batch cooking which is let's say process of just cooking bulk food for different times but it's just that I find that it can be very monotonous like we don't want to have beans every day we don't want to have rice every day but when I ingredient prep I find that we can eat anything we want as long as we've prepped the ingredients earlier on and that helps me like with so much it helps me with so much which is why I couldn't wait to make this video and share with you guys if you want to see the video of how I do my mixed veg, how I preserve the colors for months and months and how it just stays really fresh even in the freezer, let me know in the comment section and I will do that video immediately. Typically in the week, I know we'll have soup once, but I don't like to bulk cook soup right now. I just want to have the ingredients, so I'm keeping my ugu and uziza vegetable. That's my go-to combo. I put them in the Ziploc bags and they will stay fresher longer. I put it in the freezer and when we have soup, when we have anything we want to cook, we just bring out these Ziploc bags and we're good to go. I also like to prep peas because they take a while to cook. These ones have been dried. I'll just put in some water and soak them for a while and then they're as good as new. So I pack this and I put it in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. This is most of the ingredients I've prepped for the week. I have things like smoked catfish in the fridge that has already been washed and prepped it's packaged and i didn't need to do any more prepping and let me tell you so many meals come from just these few ingredients i want you to try this process of ingredient prepping and let me know what you think okay i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i really hope this process is helpful for you i'll see you in my next video bye